Yo, good morning, everybody. It's your boy, Grandma Goose. I already know what's good, man. You new to the channel, turn on notifications. Um, Subscribe, hit the thumbs up so I can get in the YouTube algorithm. Another quick morning video. I might start doing this every morning or every other couple of days, depending on the situations. But like I said, this is a quick one. I'm not even here to keep y'all for too long. I just got to talk about this shit because it's crazy. Look, y'all. Right? So I woke up this morning. And I check my Coinbase because that's the only, I don't really check my stocks every day. Not supposed to if it's a long term investment coming. I don't let it do what it do, right? Hey, yo, listen. So I woke up today. First of all, yesterday, um, I didn't get a chance to put this video. I wanted to talk about this yesterday too because I made a video telling people to put their money in cryptocurrencies. And if y'all listened to me yesterday, he probably woke up today pissed off. Like, what the fuck? Why did I listen to Grandma? That nigga not trying to get rich and move on. He don't know what he's talking about. I lost 30% of my portfolio, blah, 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 right? I'm going to say this one time, one time only. I am not a financial advisor, right? Cryptocurrency, like I said in the last video, is a highly volatile asset. All of them. Because most of it is speculation. Just like the stock market, for the most part, is speculation. 30% dips, 40% dips. For what I'm learning with the cryptocurrency game is that that's literally a daily thing or a weekly thing. A cryptocurrency could shoot up 600, 700% in a day, a couple of days. It could go down the same amount of percentage in a couple of days. I learned about dollar cost averaging. I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to give nobody no financial advice. When I woke up this morning and see my profile down 35%, I spent more money on more cryptocurrencies. I just bought more. You understand what I'm saying? When I had first got into it, when I was riding pause, when I was riding the wave up, I I accumulated, you know what I'm saying, a certain amount of the coins that I specifically invested in. I accum accumulated a certain amount of them over time. But dollar cost averaging allowed me to get a certain amount of them over the time. Now, I bought some of them high, in my opinion. I bought some of them maybe they, when they was at the top. So for me personally, I was looking for a correction. I was looking for 50%. I was willing to lose 50% of my money. And when it dipped down that low, I was willing to put more money in it at that point. What I'm trying to tell y'all is dollar cost averaging, man. I'm not, You don't got to go right away and just and just put all of your money into one basket, all your eggs in one basket at one time. What you got to do is buy things over time. You got to throw a little bit of money, a little bit of money, a little bit of money at it over time so that you're not losing. Dollar cost averages, I still haven't lost because I caught the coin originally at 19 cents. The One, one of the ones I'm talking about, actually, I'm going to say it's Stella Lumens. It rolled all the way up to 61 cents. That's a triple. That's a three times of the money from 19, 19, 19 is 38. And then, you know what I'm saying, 57. So that'll be a, a you add four more cents. So it's about like a, you know what I'm saying, triple the money, 300 and something percent. I say that to say, then it went down. Right now, it's a 35 cent for a Stellar Lumens coin. So if you bought it in the 40s, or the 50s, you upset right now because you like that. Me, I bought it all the way from 19 up to 50. So did I lose? No. And that's where dollar cost averaging comes in at. Like I said, diversification is very important. Even in the crypto space, y'all yeah, lost money over like from five different, from all of my cryptos, except for two of them because they like a, um, which is the die and which is the the USDC coin because they hold the value they match like for the US economy they match dollar for dollar so if you keep a money in a in the USDC coins and you get a 6% APY annual yield percentage annual percentage yield rather sorry in which they have pay you 6% on top of your money literally they pay you daily for holding the coin and it compounds monthly. So I I personally, since that beats a savings account, that's where I put my, my savings at. So I'm still doing overall good because I've been accumulating the APY over the time too as well. Which I showed y'all in a little clip in the video on Facebook 
for one of the coins I had got, and then I know it probably was only like a like a couple of pennies, but the reward was actually just continuously going up and up and up. So I added more to that position, and I swapped out of some of the cryptocurrencies before they took the complete shit. But like I said, I stayed in most of my positions because you only lose if you sell while it's low. So for me, I'm buying these dips because the point is to know that it's going to do something better in the future. The point is to have confidence in the investment. The point is to know the underlying asset and know what you actually investing yourself into. It's not just to say, oh, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. No, it's you got to learn these charts. You got to learn about all of these terms and all of these things. And, and, this, and I want to give you a video actually breaking down each and every specific term and what they mean, because so like I, I'm not mad that I, I, I'm not mad that I lost money this morning. I'm making this video to show y'all that right now I'm going to spend more money to buy more on this debt because this is another good, perfect buying opportunity for me with dollar cost average in order to get my position in my portfolio actually to where I wanted it to have a specific amount of each coin like I wanted it to. I missed out on opportunities to get into some of these situations. I, I told y'all Bitcoin was going to go back down to 20K before it might go down to 20K before it go where it need to go. It may only do, do, go down to 45, 40K, but it might go all the way down. I was prepared for that. I was prepared for it to go back down to 5K if possible. I know it's never going to go that low again because the people who believe in it really do. But I should, I was waiting for any, any of those dips so I can get in. I was mad that I, I, I had pulled money out of Bitcoin when it was 39K, when I caught it at 23, when I was fucking tweeting it and posting it every day for people to get into it. I could have rolled that shit all the way up to 59, 60K, which I wound up doing anyway because dollar cost average and I kept feeding a little bit to it. So I got some of that wave on the way up. You know what I'm saying? But I just never hear nothing. Like I said, I didn't want to keep that for a long time, but cryptocurrencies took a shit this morning. But buy the dips, y'all. Listen, if you know what's going on, if you respect the underlying asset, you got to buy these dips. You don't get opportunities like this all the time, man. You're talking about a, a 40 50% decrease in the whole entire cryptocurrency market. You could probably slide through there right now, find you some altcoins, and find you some different uh, projects that they got going on for the low, 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 and just ride the momentum of the market back up. And if you make the right decisions, man, you could make life-changing money literally over these next couple of days. So do your research and stay tuned to the uh, cryptocurrency market, man. Just look in and see what's going on because it's always a buying opportunity in my eyes. It's your boy, Grandma Goose. If you're new to the channel, turn on notifications, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment, all of that kind of stuff, man. I just try to bring you information that I wake up and I read or that I research. And I try to get better at learning and doing the things that I need to do. So I'm not just up here talking a whole bunch of bullshit. So if you're new, turn on subs, uh, subs and notifications, all of that good stuff. And I appreciate that tune there. It's Grandpa Goose. I'll highlight y'all later. One, 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 one.